It's just one thing about Amory. Amory broke into the music scene with her song, Why Don't We Fall In Love? A summer hit that we all can't deny still gives us the nostalgic feels. Amory got her big break while attending Georgetown University. Producer Rich Harrison, who is also known for working with artists like Beyonce and Mary J. Blige, worked together producing hits that helped her get signed by Columbia Records. In 2002, Amory debuted her album, All I Have, which gave us the infamous Why Don't We Fall In Love? And we can't forget about Talking To Me. That music video did things to my spirit. This album peaked at number nine on the US Billboard's 200 chart and went gold, selling over 500,000 copies and winning her the Soul Train Music Award for Best R&B and Soul. On April 26, 2005, Amory released her second album titled Touch, which she also worked on with Rich Harrison. This album included her smashing hit One Thing, which quickly became a number one hit and peaked at number eight on the Billboard Hot 100. Even though the song had great success, it did come with some challenges. Amory and Harrison leaked the song One Thing to American radios all over America. Columbia Records wanted to stop it due to it being an unofficial release, and because J-Lo, who happened to be on the same label, was interested in the song for her Rebirth album. Radio stations started playing One Thing all over the country and because of its success, refused to pull the song. Columbia Records had no choice but to start promoting the hit. This song would become Amory's most successful song to date, with it being featured in movies like Hitch. In 2006, Amory returned to the studio to create her third album, Because I Love It. But this time, she wasn't working with longtime producer and friend Rich Harrison. This album went through huge delays because Columbia Records was supposedly going through major issues within the company. The album was finally released in 2007, but was not physically released until a year later. This is around the time that Amory separated from Columbia Records, which also meant that the album was released without any promotion, making it the first of Amory's albums to not chart on the Billboard. The album was not a complete fail as it had some success in Europe and Japan. Later in 2009, Amory released her fourth album, In Love and War, which was released exclusively by Island Def Jam Music Group. This is after she left Columbia Records and created her own label, Phoenix Rising. This album included hits like Pretty Brown Eyes, sampled from Mint Condition's song, Breaking My Heart. The album got the number 46 spot on the US Billboard 200 and sold over 12,000 copies in the first week. This would be her last album before stepping back from the music industry. While Amory has stated in recent years that she will be coming out with new music, no new albums have been released, only some singles. So where can you find Amory now? Amory has a YouTube channel where she reviews books. Yes, you heard me, books. There is no telling whether Amory will actually release another album, but until then, we can continue bumping her song, One Thing.